In this video I'd like to describe two things. One is improved photo handling in ArcPad in the data manager for ArcPad. And because it's a related topic, I want to discuss the interoperability of the data manager for ArcPad 10 with ArcGIS 9 and ArcGIS 10. Okay, so first of all, in the ArcPad help, um, there's a new section called best practices, and one of the subject is incorporating photos into your workflow. I'm going to discuss a little bit from here because I don't yet have ArcGIS 10 installed on this particular machine. So first of all, it just shows a typical workflow. Um, get data for ArcPad, AXF plus photo path. We'll look at that in a minute. And then collecting data, perhaps the camera's on the device, perhaps it's separate. And then copying data back to the PC for check-in. That folder will contain your AXF data as well as photos and then when you use the data manager to check data back in there's some options now for how those photos are handled so let's come down here to get data for ArcPad and this is a very familiar interface we select which layers to check out we select what action but now we have a new page in the ArcPad 10 data manager to select picture options and for every layer and for every related table I can select one or more picture fields. Okay, so that's important because later the data manager on check-in is going to do some things with the photo names in those fields. That's why we have to specify what they are. So if I have a field called photo or photo hyperlink or photo name, it'll automatically figure that I want to use that for a picture field. Otherwise I can specify and as it shows picture fields, plural, I can select multiple. So I can take more than one picture per feature. Alright, so the other thing that's on this page is copy pictures to this folder when checking in data. So I could specify, say, a network data storage location, Z Photos, ArcPad Data Collection, for example. And what that means is that when I check data in from multiple handhelds, then all the photos that are checked in will be copied to this location. And uh, what's more, when I check that data in, um, the photo name itself, which on the device could be my documents, my pictures, photo one, will be renamed to Z Photos ArcPad Collection Photo One. I do have an option instead of having it automatically rename I can check the box to keep the path of existing pictures in the data so in other words if my photo name on the device is my pictures photo one then the hyperlink will continue to be named my pictures photo one if I check that box otherwise by default it will use my data path that I specify here to rename rename um, the attribute value for the photo path or photo name in my data as it goes into the database. Okay, so um, let me look at something here in ArcPad on the mobile device. Because if I have multiple people collecting data in the field in ArcPad and now I have this option where it's going to copy the photos back to a central location there's one thing I need to be conscious of and that is not having photos named the same thing if I have more than one person out collecting data. So in ArcPad options, in the camera page, I have options for how the photos get named. I can set a file name prefix. I can set to have the date and time as part of the file name. Those options are specifically there to avoid photo name overwrite. Um, just as an example there, if I had myself and someone else out collecting data at the same time on different devices, the default photo naming is basically something like photo 1, photo 2, photo 3, those that end up overriding each other back in the office. So this will prevent that from happening. The other thing on this page to, to, sh to look at is that there's a default pictures path. Um, in fact, ArcPad puts the pictures that you take in the folder with your data, with your AXF data. So in this case I have a quick project and if I was to look on uh, in File Explorer, uh, here's my quick project um, 
folder and my photos are in there um, with it. Now I had taken these pictures before I set my file name prefix to Chad so it didn't take that into account. Um, so back on that setting in ArcPad then the only time that that default pictures path is used is if I just come into ArcPad turn on GPS and start cl start clicking this button to do GPS photo points. Uh, that's where it'll put the pictures by default. Otherwise, if I have an ArcPad APM, if I have an APM file open, it'll put my photos wherever my APM file is. And that's handy because then when I copy my folder back with field data, it includes the pictures. Okay, so getting back to this, when I go to check data in, then Let's see, I'll come to that option. Returning data and photos to your desktop. Check-in is going to be exactly the same as we're used to seeing. The only difference is that it's going to actually move the photos to the fo folder that I specify. And any and all photo fields that I have configured, it's going to look in there, look at the photo name, and it's going to change the value for the path so that hyperlinking works correctly in ArcMap. Now what it's not going to do is embed the photo inside the geodatabase as a raster attribute. It's not going to do that. We're still doing hyperlinks over in ArcMap. Um, a comment was made at the user conference that embedded raster attributes are being deprecated, which means that they're going to go away in future versions because they're going to handle um, related content in a different way. Um, it's not going to be just photos, it's going to be anything multimedia. So in any case, hyperlinking is the way it still works. Now getting back to the second part of the subject, which is compatibility between ArcPad 8 and 10 and ArcGIS 9.3 and 10, how does this work? This option to specify photo options only shows up in the ArcPad data manager for ArcPad 10. The ArcPad Data Manager version 10 will only be installed if I have ArcGIS 10 installed. So what does that mean? Well, I can take ArcPad 10 and install it on a machine that has ArcGIS 9.3, but I will get the ArcPad Data Manager that I'm used to seeing for ArcPad 8. There's no problem with that. It'll still work just the way it has always worked. You can check data out, check it in. There's no problem but I won't get this picture options page and it will not do anything um, with my with my pictures when I check them in. So compatibility, if I were to sketch that out, I can install ArcPad 10 on ArcGIS 10 or ArcGIS 9.3. Everything will work as far as checkout check-in, but if I want the photo options I have to have ArcGIS 10. Similarly I have, let's say I have ArcPad 8 still, and I've upgraded to ArcGIS 10, I can still install ArcPad 8 in ArcGIS 10 on a machine that has ArcGIS 10, but I will uh, only get the tools that are available at ArcPad 8. I won't get this uh, picture options page. Uh, but that'll still work. I could use the ArcPad 8 data manager and I could check data out and I could check data in. There's no problem with that. So that briefly covers photo handling in ArcPad, um, as well as compatibility between ArcGIS and ArcPad versions.